and welcome back to the My Pokemon Academia, My Hero Pokemon What If crossover. And chapter 17. Last time, we basically got through the other two matches. Bakugo quickly took care of Tokayami, and Kirishima and Tetsutetsu had the epic battle of Lucario's. But most importantly, we had we got the reveal of Shoto and Endeavors, most of their history. Midoriya confronting both of them on their history. And now, as we left off from the last chapter, their match begins! So, Midoriya immediately says, Him on top, I choose you! Knowing that Shoto right now is going very much against his father. He's not using fire types, he's only using ice types. Obviously, he's going to go with the two uh, Pokemon that are best suited against fire ice types. And he goes, Avalog, I choose you! Which newly evolved in his last previous match. So their fight begins immediately and Midoriya comes out with a fake out, causing Avalog to flinch. Then follows up with a triple kick, which basically which, um, throws Avalog off for loop because he's much slower than him on top. Avalog counters with Iron Defense. Hit on top then comes in with a brick break. Avalog uses, uh, it takes the hit and uses Avalanche against Hitmon Top, who also gets hit. Meanwhile, as the fight's going on, Midori just asks right off, like, "Why are you basically? Why are you so adamant about about deposing your father?" And basically, Shota just looks and says, "I already told you, I refuse to be like him for what he did for what he did to our family, but and um, I will I will do everything I can to be the opposite." Of him. And yeah, Midori basically just says to him that, um. And it, it tells them that it's like, if that's if that were the case, then why do you even have fire types in your team to begin with? And honestly, Todoroki doesn't have a good excuse for that. Just like, if you really want to be opposite of your dad, why do you even have fire types anyway? And Todoroki's like, my father, get, they were gifted to me. I would, I, I, I won't abandon. It's like you could, you could just leave them at home with your mother, and your mother, your other, the other family. I'm sure they could take care of them. Why carry them at all? The, you're, why carry all? Why being? Uh, why carry them off? You're never going to use them. You just wait. You're just wasting. You're wasting. Uh, spot. You're wasting. Um, uh, places on your team. You're wasting their time. You're wasting your time. It, the, if you're going, if you're going, not going to use it, then basically rejecting endeavor isn't isn't making you stronger. It's holding you back. And you know, the Togaroki is both shocked and a little angry at this. Because, like, first off, how dare you call me out on my, my, my problems? But also, Midoriya is not wrong. He is being... He, and Shoto kind of can... Has that gut feeling like... Excuse me, burp. Kind of gut feeling like... It's a, uh, that, that inkling that something's... He's not wrong, and he hates the fact that he's not wrong. And because of that, it distracts him to the point where him on top comes in with our triple kick... Uh, Basically, uh, through the avalanche, uh, knocking away the debris and you know hitting uh, Avalog right in the uh, right in the jaw, and then uses a sucker punch and knocks out Av Avalog, winning the day. Shota goes, and and you know it's already Avalog return, and so the Avalog's done. He's going for his next Pokemon, but by the way, this is very minimal in the uh, effects department today, just or image department today, just because. It's hard to really find images of the Pokemon doing the set attacks, so, um, you know, use your imagination as I normally do. And uh, he goes for his next Pokemon, and then Midoriya actually looks and is like, is that another Ice-type Todoroki? And then he, he freezes a little bit, like, he hesitates. Um, and, and he pauses, and, and Midoriya basically just says, you're not, you can't win that way. And, you know, Shudder's just pissed off, like, uh, you want my best, then I'll give you my best. Go, Darmanitan! A Galarian Darmanitan, because let's be honest, if you're going to have a guy whose quirk is ice and fire, go with the only thing in ex Pokemon existence right now that has both an ice and fire type in the right circumstance, which fits better into Todoroki more than anything else. And obviously it does know some fire attacks that he even refuses to use, because he's... Because, I mean, don't care, we all love Todoroki, but my god, did he kind of need to chill the fuck out a little bit. Like, oh my god, stop being a jackass. Anyway, uh, so Darmanitan, or however Darmanitan, I've actually never heard of Darmanitan in uh, the anime. So, I don't know what Darmanitan uh, sounds like. So, anyway, Darman him on top comes in with Brick Break, and I get, he t it, uh, Darman takes the hit on his big poofy head, but unfortunately, he grabs onto him on top, use Avalanche, and then just smacks him on top again. Just taking out him on top. So him on top is 
out of the fight. And I just realized completely I forgot to add an image on there. But while we are, while I am talking, while, uh, while I am filling up the void, I'm just going to add that image very quickly. Um, and one second here. So, obviously, Midoriya returns um, him on top. He's like, good job, him on top. No problem. There it is. <laughs> and obviously, he's going to send out his trump card, Larvesta, for this. Because, obviously, Larvesta would be the prime candidate for this. He's only got uh, Rufflet, Eevee, Darman, uh, Darmantan, uh, him on top, and Larvesta on his team right now. Which, the other two would not... Eevee wouldn't have a type disadvantage, but Eevee would not be strong enough to go take a Darmanitan on. And Rufflet would be a terrible choice. So, obviously, it comes down to uh, Darmanitan and Larvesta. Uh, and Darmanitan th comes out with Ice Glue Crest. L F However, Larvesta melts through that with Flame Charge, lands directly on Darmanitan, who tries to use Avalanche, again, using Flame Charge, which ups your speed every time, goes through the Avalanche again, still taking some hit, don't get me wrong. He's not going through there unscathed. And once again, lands a shot in our Darmanitan. All the while, uh, Shoto is just wondering, like, uh, just struggling. He's like, no, it's, it's not true. I, 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 w I will show him that I can be better, but I, I'm losing. I've never been losing, let alone this bad before. Is Midoriya right? Is this really holding me back? No, I, I can't believe it. I, I won't believe it. And he just flashes, I won't, as, uh, he basically... Uh, I will not, I will not give it, I will, I will not emulate my father. I will be my, I will not use the, po I will not use the Pokemon he gave me. I will not use the type he ga gave me after everything he did. I will not be him. And then Midori, unlike before, it's not the same scenario where Midori is like, just so friendly. It's your power, not his. It's not quite like that. But it's more in the sense that he's fed up with this crap that honestly Shoto's basically, you know, his Shoto's, um, you know, spewing says, they're your Pokemon, not his! You're the trainer, not him! And that basically just, and what you do with them, what you do with them is an expression of you, not him! And basically, you know, he does that moment where he pauses. And Darmantan, again, is taking another shot from Larvesta, another flame charge. And Shoto basically, you know, has that reflection, uh, that moment back remembering his mom. Now, in the, in the actual series, it's him sitting on the couch watching All Might, wanting to be a hero. And Quirk is what you make it. Make of it. Uh, so, uh, I, can, I can remember, I could th see him maybe seeing something with All Might. It's like, remember, trainer, you are, you are uh, uh, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon uh, uh, trainers come, can come from lineage or they can come from nothing. But no matter where you come from, only you can be inside the trainer you want to be. It's like, really, Mom? Mom is, would it... Should I only use ice ice like you? Are you? I mean, I don't like that. Uh, dad, dad's really harsh and stuff like that, honey. I, and it's like your dad, your dad, your dad is a hard, a, a harsh man. But if you love fi Pokemon, it doesn't matter what type you use. Honey. You can use ice, fire, both, or anything else. It doesn't matter as long as you be the trainer you want to be and you respect, keep, uh, respect your Pokemon. Uh, and you respect your Pokemon or love your partners and be. The, you can be the trainer you want to be, no matter what you do. And I'll always be proud of you, honey. And then you know he just. He's got that, he's got that inner monologue going, he's like, the trainer I want to be. Uh, and then all of a sudden, Darmanitan, he just, he just, it says out loud, and all of a sudden the flames erupt, and then Zen mode comes out. It's like, what? And then Midori just, Argh. it's like, whoa. It's like, I was wondering, I couldn't recognize that. I, I'd heard of Gal Galarian Force, but I didn't even know Zen mode could do that. Whoa. And it, it, wait, what's going on? He wanted my best. Here it is. Uh, you better, you better not make me, uh, better not make either of us regret this, Midoriya. Glory and and he explains Glor Glory and Dermantens, uh, have Zen mode just like the original ones, or can have Zen mode just like the original. Only uh, standard, or uh, what was it? Unovian. Would it be Unovian or just Unova? I, I think it's Unovian. Unovian and uh, Dermantens are dual fire, uh, dual si uh, fire psychic. Glorian are dual fire ice when they transform into Zen mode. Uh, get ready. Like I said, you wanted my best. Here it comes. And basically, um, you know, a glorying Dermanta comes in with a fire punch. He's like, that's a fire! He's like, that's a nice, that's fire! The Larvesta, move! And Larvesta he gets a, tries to get out of the way, but does take a, sh does take a hot shot, and now he's a fire type and hadn't been burned. He can't be burned now by Larvesta's flame body. Larvesta's head headbutt! And then Larvesta comes in, smacks into um, Darmanitan again. 
and they're going back and forth. They're both squaring off. Uh, he's using fire punch once again, coming with a flame charge. They're clashing several times. Just boom, boom, boom. They're both taking hits. And then you get the, 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 get the music. But it's like, this is it. Fire punch, full power, take down! And they basically just clash. <laughs> and basically, basically you have a big explosion. And even Baco is looking all like, son of a bitch! It's like, ugh, that loser, how strong did he get? Who, and and uh, uh, he even hears everyone's like, who won? Smoke's clearing, and they're both standing there, just, uh, yeah, Darn. Boom. Darn is out! Larvest is the winner! The winner is Izuka Matoria! The crowd goes wild! <sighs> and, you know, that's... And basically, it's like, I, I lost. And he he looks at Midori, and Midori returns Larvest to, to his Pokeball to get, you know, get healed up. He walks over, and he, and he gives a hand... Uh, he'll hold his hand out to Shoto. It's like, oh, that was a great match, uh, uh, Todoroki. And Totoro just looking at him for a moment, just give, just close that smile and gives like a that kind of like a curt little chuckle. Just it's like, it was, and you were right. Thank you, Midoriya. Like, and you, you, all like I won't. I'm not gonna. I won't sugarcoat things. So I'll just say is thank you, and you were right. Uh, and so he walks off, and you know Midoriya's got a smile on his face, like he was able to maybe help Todoroki. But then he does look up in the stands and he sees Baco there just, it, or he would see Baco go there. He sees Baco actually not there and he sees in the trainer box, uh, like in the waiting box for the you know next match with him in Kirishima. And he realizes that, oh yeah, no. I mean, because he, he's pretty certain who's going to win that fight. So he now knows it's going to be him and Baco go. And... Uh, and basically, Bakugo now knows nearly his entire team. He know, he's always known Larvesta. He's seen him on top twice. And now he knows he has a... Actually, do you, I can't remember. Did I have him use Eevee? Um, uh, I think I had him use Eevee. No, I had him use... Who did I, I'll be honest. I completely forgot how I had him use in the fight with Uraraka. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, no, no. He sent out Larvesta. So actually, no, he doesn't know about Eevee either. So he's about, he's about half his team. Whereas, honestly, besides the Voltorb and um, and Tyrant, actually, well, no, he hasn't used Voltorb yet in front of Midoriya, I don't believe. No, yes, he did. Yes, he did. He used it in the... Sorry, we're on Chapter 17 now, so I have to re try to remember. Uh, no, so, yeah, he knows a chunk of uh, Bakugo's team. Uh, the point being is that they're lo they're squaring each other up. Meanwhile, Endeavor's just... Endeavor probably was like, Yes, Shoto! Uh, you know, he gave him that whole words of uh encouragement <laughs> he gave him that uh but say so you finally uh, turn, uh, decide to embrace your true heritage and uh, you'll you'll go far i'll take you under my wing and say and then honestly just looks at his dad and just says no i didn't decide anything the only thing i decided was to stop trying to appease you and just be the person i want to be a uh, traitor i want to be and that means bracing up both sides even if and even if it means even if it means get, using the Pokemon you gave me, the, but it it doesn't matter because it's not their fault. I'll be the trainer I want to be, uh, with or, uh, and without you. And then he walks off, and you, and Devers like <laughs> just kind of like confused, like I don't get it. So that ends chapter seventeen. Like I said in the previous one, these ones are like some of these are going to be short chapters. Like we didn't even get to fifteen minutes. Uh, don't get don't worry. Next one, I'm pretty confident, is going to go a little ways. Uh, just because that is where we're getting to the final match. Who, guess what? It's going to be Midori and Bakugo. So, and by the way, yeah, obviously, Todoroki didn't win this like he does in the original. I felt it prudent that Midoriya, on his quest, um, plus with his rivalry with Bakugo, it's important that he actually won in this match against um, Todoroki, I imagine. Uh, so, thanks for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. Do a review of it at some point. I just heard would win. Star Wars or Fair Magic. What if anything we do on the channel? Put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get to that at some point. Hit that bell if you want notifications. I'll see you next time, folks.